Good night, good morning, good evening, hello, uh, good day, all of you beautiful people. Welcome, 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 welcome to day 24 of self-coaching and self-reflections, uh, how to have radical honesty with ourselves for 2022. With me, Yai Joyce, your ancestral connection coach, right? I help my clients in toxic habits, grow their joy, transform their business, improve their lives so that they can be wealthy and well-rested. Um, and combined unique uh, coaching methods of ancestral healing, astrology, and spiritual psychology. And if you would like to know how I can help you live in divine joy, you can reach out to me at yayijoyce.com, Y-A-Y-I-J-O-Y-C-E.com. And as we are in day 20, what day? Yeah, day 24, right? It's asking us about really how are we going to exude our happiness, have the radical honesty of what brings our happiness. The source of happiness is within us. And what happens is that a lot of times we don't fucking look for it on the inside of ourselves. We look for happiness outside of ourselves. Happiness, 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 happiness starts from within right? External events might cause it to manifest, but the real source of that happiness came from you. Once again, external events might cause it to show up in your life or manifest, but that real source of happiness comes from you. Happiness often seems to be a result of external factors, but actually it's not. See, that's where people get it freaking twisted. They think, oh, because this person showed up. No, but that person is vibing off your energy if everything is freaking energy. But actually it starts and it comes out into the open from inside of us. There's an inner happiness within every single one of us. But it's covered by layers of fear, worry, and anxieties, doubts, and shames. And so it is asking us, what is your inner happiness covered with? What negative habits, what thoughts, what fears, what worries and anxieties is your inner happiness covered in? Inner happiness is not separate. It is not a separate part of our inner being. It is our essence. But we allow a lot of life circumstances to hide it. But when we calm ourselves down and get a rein over our feelings aren't always facts and our rein over our emotions, and the happiness appears when our thoughts and worries calm down. There's a deep correlation between inner happiness and inner peace. It's like peanut butter and jelly, or in my case, almond butter and raspberry jam. When one is the present, the other one is present too. Because you better believe if I got some damn almond butter, I got some raspberry jam or raspberry preserves with the little seeds in it. And so to understand what happiness means, we have to know what pleasure is. See, that's part of the human experience. And a lot of times we get so caught up in the feeling of pleasure, we miss happiness. Okay. And so it's really asking us to question do we go for the happiness, the true happiness, the inner happiness? Or are we only going for the fucking pleasures? Let's be fucking real. Are we going for the true inner happiness or are we only going for the pleasures? I have no judgment. Do you, boo? However, 
You have to ask yourself this because if you keep going into this cycle of, oh my gosh, oh, woe is me. I don't have anybody. I'm so sad. I'm so lonely. I'm so this, I'm so that. You have to ask yourself, so are you seeking this from outside? And to really answer that, you got to answer, do you know what's the difference between happiness and, and pleasure for yourself? And what is this happiness that you are constantly in search of that you feel that once you have it, your whole total life would change? And what does happiness really mean to you and for you? These are some important questions that you need to ask yourself and to really dig deep on the inside of your soul. Are you searching just the happiness, true happiness, or are you only searching for the pleasure? Have that radical, honest moment with yourself. I pray that this has blessed you and filled your life with absolute divine joy and grace. And if you need me, you know where to find me, Yai Joy Stock.